On the left, new video of an accused killer making his first appearance in court. Sol Garcia Macias is charged with murdering his girlfriend on the right, 17-year-old Sofia Lugo. That suspect was on the run for more than two weeks. Prosecutors wanted to make sure he wouldn't get out of jail. And as Fox 35's Deborah Cho reports, the judge agreed with them. Marion County Sheriff's Office tells us that this is where the murder happened of Sophia Lugo on December 10th. Investigators say when they got here, they found her on the floor dead from an apparent gunshot. Now, the suspect, Sophia's boyfriend, apparently has not had just one run in with the law. He's had several, we found out. Hey, sir, you're before the court. You're charged with one count of murder. On Thursday, the man accused of killing his 17 year old girlfriend faced a judge for the first time. Detectives say Saul Garcia Macia killed Sofia Lugo inside an Ocala home and ran away after lying to his mom about what happened. Deputies have been searching for him for weeks. He finally called investigators and agreed to talk with them after saying he was lost in the woods for weeks. Where he came up with a story of masked individuals breaking into his home um, and killing Sofia. Um, due to the evidence that the detectives had collected and witnessed statements, he was placed under arrest. This is not Garcia Macias' first run-in with the law. In 2016, when he was 13, he was suspected of being involved in several car burglaries. In 2017, he led deputies on a chase following a car break-in. In 2021, he was suspected of driving a car while a passenger was firing shots at deputies. Investigators say he was an illegal immigrant and any time he was suspected of a crime, he would run away. Every time that he has become a suspect in these cases, he is known to disappear. It is the belief that he is going back to um, Mexico, which is where he is from. The teen's family gathered Wednesday night in tears. Sophia's aunt says the holiday season is really tough for the family dealing with this loss. And I was like, she's going to be so happy, you know, when she opens that. She's going to be like, oh, thank you, aunt, you know, because you got me for everything I wanted. And... It's so hard that she's not going to get to open it. The suspect currently is being held with no bond. Prosecutors requested that and a judge approved that this morning. Reporting here in Ocala tonight, Deborah Cho, Fox 35 News.